What is up guys, James here, or Z Scrapbeard QS, whatever you know me as, but today I wanted to do a tutorial for you guys, um, since I haven't uploaded any editing tutorials in such a long time, and I've been getting a lot of requests for this, um, this is a little effect that I do on, like, pretty much a lot of my edits, like 1v1s, 4v4s, um, scrims, I mean, I just use this for a bunch of edits, um, you can you also use this for kill feeding, um, it's a little radio blur effect that I use. Um, I don't see any tutorials on how to do it on YouTube because I found this out. I found out how to do this on my own, but I know I've seen this in other people's videos. Um, but yeah, guys, this effect is mainly for black scopes on, um, I don't know, like MW2 or Black Ops 2. I don't know, any game where you can hit a black scope. Um, but yeah, let me show you guys what I'm talking about here real quick. Um, this is just a game that I edited for Tier Zig a while back. Um, but yeah guys, it's about to hit, so pay attention. Right there is what I'm talking about. I'll go back in case you guys didn't see that. Ugh, alright. Right there. So yeah guys, that's the uh, radio blur effect that I will be teaching you guys today. Um, what you want to do is go ahead and open up Sony Vegas. Um, I already have a clip in here that I want to... Uh, that I want to do the effect in. Uh, you find your clip or your 1v1 or your feed, you drag it into Vegas. And um, let me find it real quick. Uh, let me mute this audio so it's not annoying. I usually uh, remove all audio whenever I edit. So, what you want to do is you want to find the black scope hit. It looks like one was hit right there. So, I'm going to go ahead and split. What you want to do is you want to zoom in and you want to find it right there whenever the crosshairs hit. Once you get the hit marker on the guy, you want to hit S right there where the hit marker was hit. And you want to keep going, and I'd say about at least three more frames, depending on how long the black scope stays in. In this case, the black scope stays in for three frames. And you want to go ahead and just split right there whenever the, uh, at the end of the black scope. So right there I have it. One, two, three. And what you want to do is you want to drag this back and you want to go to the end of the uh, clip and you want to control click and drag it all the way out to uh, make it a little bit longer now you could use Twixter for this guys um, I'm not going to use Twixter um, I usually don't use Twixter whenever I'm doing this it just all depends on the black scope if it's like a one frame like black scope shot then I may use Twixter but in this case I'm not going to use it just for uh, time sakes but yeah guys now let me show you guys what it looks like without the effect so right there it's just a, it's just a normal black scope shot so um now what you want to do is you want to go to video fx you want to actually put your cursor over the uh black scope and then go to video fx and you want to find radio blur now i usually use strong proportional you could play around with these settings up here or make a default one but i always drag on strong proportional and depending on how long the frame is is what you want to put the strength to I'm just gonna keep it a default 800 um, so you guys can see the difference you could play around with proportional and fixed radius um, I mean it just depends um, so yeah guys um, I mean you don't want to put it too low and you don't want to put it too high so usually 800 is perfect now what you want to do after that is you want to click the little frame the little animate frame right there and you want to uh, drag this little cursor right here all the way to the end of the timeline and then you want to drag the strength all the way down to zero now what this is going to do is it's going to start from 800 and it's going to gradually get smaller through the timeline until it hits zero and uh, any year now okay there we go alright so now I'm going to show you guys what the effect looks like and Sony Vegas is being a bitch sorry for that guys now what you want to do is you want to click or you want to just play through and it should look a little something like that as you guys can see I'll go back and play that for you guys if you didn't see it it's like a little kind of radial blur effect pretty neat I use this in a lot of my edits and yeah as you guys can see I'll go frame by frame it gets smaller and smaller until it goes back to normal it's a really neat effect guys um, and also if I do this little radial blur effect Sometimes I would also like to do this. This is actually works really well. Um, you make sure you want to have these two checked in. And you just want to, you know, zoom the video in. As you guys can see, it zooms in. 
and you want to do the pretty much the same thing just drag the timeline to the very end and then you want to drag it out and this just adds a little bit more effect of course you can play around with it more and see it's just I don't know it's pretty neat guys as you guys can see I just added a radial blur effect and a zoom effect um, I mean like I said you can play around with more settings and add like brightness and stuff like that but that's all I'm gonna be showing you guys today peace out